Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for August the 2nd. August the 2nd is the 214th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 215th in leap years with 131 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is je ne sais quoi. This comes to us from French, and the best description of it is that it means a quality that is hard to describe. The literal translation of the phrase je ne sais quoi means I do not know what. <laughs> je ne sais quoi. Kind of fun to say. And with that, we're going to start with the year 216 BC, when the Carthaginian army led by Hannibal defeated a numerically superior Roman army at the Battle of Cannae. And I'll just tell you here that, you know, I mean, some of that ancient history is interesting to me, but what's more interesting to me is the words. <laughs> Carthaginian, for example. Carthaginians were from Carthage and not the one in Missouri, but the one over in North Africa, it's right on the Mediterranean Ocean there in uh, modern day Tunisia. On August 2nd, 1274, Edward I of England returned from the Ninth Crusade. By the way, he was crowned king 17 days later. I don't know if we'll mention that then or not, we'll see. August the 2nd, 1610, Henry Hudson was looking for Northwest Passage. He was looking for a way from the Atlantic to the Pacific across the waterways up north and uh, sailed into what is now known as Hudson Bay. The signing of the United States Declaration of Independence took place on August 2nd, 1776. The first United States Census was conducted on August 2nd, 1790. Tower Subway, the world's first underground railway, opened in London, England on August 2nd, 1870. This is the birthday of Jack Warner, born August 2nd, 1892. He was a production manager, a producer, and co-founder of Warner Brothers. He lived to the age of 86. On August 2nd, 1873, the Clay Street Hill Railroad began operating the first cable car in San Francisco's famous cable car system. This is the birthday of American actress Myrna Loy, born August 2nd, 1905. She lived to the age of 88. German occupation of Luxembourg during World War I began on August 2nd, 1914. On August 2nd, 1923, Vice President Calvin Coolidge became U.S. President upon the death of President Warren G. Harding. This is the birthday of actor, director, producer, and screenwriter Carol O'Connor, born August 2nd, 1924. He has quite a filmography, but he is perhaps most easily recognizable as Archie Bunker from the TV show All in the Family. <laughs> what a pill. <laughs> he lived to the age of 76. Now yesterday on August 1st of 1934, Adolf Hitler received word that Paul von Hindenburg, the president of Germany, was on his deathbed. Never one to miss an opportunity on his climb to power, he had the cabinet pass the law concerning the highest state office of the Reich, which stipulated that upon Hindenburg's death, the office of president would remain vacant and that Hitler would then be titled leader and chancellor of the Reich. And so it is that on this day, August the 2nd, 1934, Paul von Hindenburg died at the age of 86 from lung cancer. Hitler did not waste any time at all having it announced that as a result of the aforementioned law, <laughs> he was now Germany's head of state and head of government, thereby eliminating the last remedy by which he could be legally dismissed and cementing his status as the absolute dictator of Germany. Kind of how Hitler sold this to the public was to say that the presidency was inseparably united with Hindenburg and that it would not be appropriate for the title ever to be used again. The Marijuana Tax Act of 1937 was passed in America on August 2nd, 1937 
in order to render marijuana and all its byproducts illegal. Now, Treblinka was one of the deadliest Nazi death camps of World War II. Approximately 900,000 people were murdered there in less than 18 months. And on August 2nd, 1943, Jewish prisoners staged a revolt at Treblinka. This is the birthday of American radio host and author Dennis Prager, born August 2nd, 1948. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something you didn't know before. I know I sure did. I always do. <laughs> As always, links to my research are included in the show notes. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share with others with the link in your email, messaging, or social media. And let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Images are retrieved from Bing Images, either public domain or licensed free to use and share. I think the correct terminology is free to share and use. Our lovely outro music is Divine Life Society by Jesse Gallagher from YouTube Music Library. And there's a link to his channel in the show notes. Thanks again and I'll see you next time. Well, that's right, back it up. This is what happens when you don't clean up your script. Ooh, what was that? Don't eat while you're recording. <laughs>